it's time to mount our microinverters, which we're going to do using the exact same kinetic nuts and bolts that we use for the entire rest of the system. I do want to show you one little trick though. Once all the rails are mounted, it can be difficult to slide the nut in from the end of the rail like we did when we were mounting it earlier. The kinetic nuts can be snapped into the, into the strut relatively easily using the, the bolt as a guide. So I'm simply going to screw the bolt into the nut a tiny little bit. One or two turns is all you need. Now it's a little bit easier if you have a longer bolt, but this will work fine. Now it's time to put it into the rail where we're approximately where we're going to mount our microinverter. We'll talk about that in a moment. So I tilt the nut and bolt combination so it slides right into the rail. Now you'll notice I'm under the rail right now. I've hooked the upper edge of the nut into the cut on the bottom of the rail, which you can feel with your finger. And at that point, I just push up and it snaps right in. This is one of the great things about the kinetic system. There's a lot of other guys out there where the only way to get the bolt in is from the end, and I just love using this. Once it's in, I can remove the bolt and put together the rest of the microinverter mounting. Once again, I'm going to snap in a second kinetic nut for the other side of the inverter. I just insert it into the slot, get it underneath the clip, pull forward, and push up on the bolt. Snaps right in, just like that. Give it a try a couple of times on the ground. It's really handy to know this. I'll make up the rest of the bolt. Once again, block washer, flat washer, and a big washer. Screw it into the nut. Now, generally speaking, you want to mount the microinverter near the middle of the panel. So we don't know exactly where our panels are going to go up until we mount them, but generally, they're about three feet wide or one meter, about like this. So I'm going to move my nuts over just a bit. And you'll notice another great advantage of the Kinetic. They slide very easily in the track. You can always adjust them after you put them in. One last thing, and I mentioned this earlier, we're going to come back to it. My friend, the Weeb. Again, you want to electrically bond every part of your racking system, whether it be the rails or the microinverter or the panels. In this case, I'm going to take one of these weebs right now, and depending on your microinverter, you might do it in an hour or later, you'll see. And I'm just going to slip it onto the nut and move it until the little tabs that you saw earlier fit into the slot on the top of the rail. That's it. All right, it's time to mount the microinverter. Here's our spark microinverter. You'll notice it has two channels cut. Most inverters are the same idea so that you can put your bolts on first and then mount the microinverters by sliding it in. We'll start with this side. I'm just going to pull the washers forward so I got some room to work with. Slide this onto the bolt. And that's it. And I'm going to finger tighten it for now just so it's not moving around on me. Move my other nut into position. It can slide in the channel. Up it goes. And again, friction fit the nut. Nothing simpler. It's mounted and grounded all in one step. All right, let's mount the second inverter. So in our case, we've mounted our inverters. There's only two of them on our small rooftop here. We just have to connect them together electrically and then we're pretty much finished unless, except for the panels. Connecting together microinverters couldn't be any easier. In fact, the only real thing that you need to be concerned about is what they call cable management. Um, just keeping the cables up off the roof as much as possible and keeping them clean. Really all they're looking for is that things won't get caught on the cables. Zip ties are very useful. And I'll show you a little trick that I've come to use. I simply loop the cable around the L-foot. The connectors only go together one way. You'll feel it. You might have to try a couple of times, but you'll find it. There it is. And they screw together. And that's it. Work your way up the chain. I only have two inverters, so this is as far as I can go. You simply work your way out to the end of the chain, and you're finished. All the inverters are ready to go. So let's move on.